Yo, what's going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans everywhere? Welcome. It's the one, the only, Pig Troll Network. I'm its host and creator, Ty Hudson. Hope you've had a fabulous weekend. Chad Morris gives us an update on who's starting at quarterback. So before we get into that, if you guys would, at the end of the video, like, comment, share the content that you just watched. Of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap that awesome subscribe button down below. No, don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description box as well. First off, let's get this video started off right. It's game week, fans. Even if you're not a Razorback fan, it's game week. I know last week was too. Technically, you had Florida, Miami, and then who was it? Arizona and Hawaii. Oh, those two games. Ooh, not good for for uh, I really anybody involved this weekend that played college football. But for Arkansas fans and for everybody else, it's game week. I think Texas A&M plays this Thursday night, and then obviously you've got Arkansas and Portland State Saturday. So. Ben Hicks is your guy. Ben Hicks is the starting quarterback. I know, look, we had said a lot of people have agreed on this, too, across social media, and those of you uh, in my comment section kind of agreed with this, most of you, that, that Hicks would get the job and that Starkle would eventually take the job. We, I remember saying that back in, like, the beginning of fall camp. Like, I felt like that was the situation that would play out. Something got into me this weekend, and on the most recent episode of the Hog Talk podcast, by the way, we're doing two shows from here on out to the rest of college, uh, the rest of the season. We had Chuck Barrett, Force of the Razorbacks, on our last episode, so uh, that was that was a good, that was a fun episode to record. We even got him to do a signature touchdown, Arkansas, at the end of the interview. It was fantastic. But anyways, I had said on that podcast, Jacob, fellow host, asked how that would play out, and I said Starkle would start. But I've been saying all fall camp. That, oh, no, it's going to be Hicks and then Starkle. I've been saying that all fall camp. I don't know what got into me, but I still feel like that's what plays out. I feel like Hicks gets the job. Starkle's more talented. Maybe it's Ole Miss. Maybe it's further on down the road against somebody else. I don't know. But I feel like eventually Chad Morris is going to say, okay, let's put the guy in who's got the Power 5 experience, who's who's played in the SEC a little bit. Yeah, not a great record in the SEC. But let's just throw him in and see what he can do. I feel like. That's how this thing plays out eventually. Could be wrong. Ben Hicks could go out and have a fantastic season. He could surprise everybody. But let's go over Hicks's numbers really fast. 2016, he, uh, he he throws the ball 422 times. He throws at 55% completion ratio, 2,900 yards his first year, 19 touchdowns, way too many picks at 15. Next year, 2017, his best year as a quarterback, Throws the ball 472 times, 50, almost a 59% completion ratio, 33 touchdowns to 12 picks. You'll take that. You'll take that. Those are those are bowl eligibility kind of numbers right there, maybe, at Arkansas. I think so. And then his final year, which is obviously the year that Chad Morse came to Arkansas, 2018, he goes on 372 attempts, 100 less attempts, 55% completion ratio, 2,500 yards through the air, 19 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. And something you see there, the trend on interceptions goes down. But he threw the ball quite a bit less. But he only had 208 completions on 372 attempts. Again, his, again, 2016, 55% completion ratio. 2017, right at about 59%. And then 2018, 50, right at 56 So if he can get close to those 2017 numbers, Obviously, he, he would probably be your starter from start to finish. I don't know that I see that playing out. We'll have to wait and see. Starkle has two years of eligibility. Ben Hicks just has the one. So let your voices be heard. I want to know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you think that Hicks, maybe maybe you're confident. You feel like Hicks is going to keep the job all year. It's it's his to lose, it sounds like it anyways. Or maybe you think the other way around, that Starkle ends up taking the job. I, I'm still there. I still think that Starkle, myself, I feel like Starkle eventually gets the nod down the road, but anything could happen. I do think you're going to see, and this is something we also talked about on the Hog Talk podcast, I do think you end up seeing all four quarterbacks. I think you see, uh, obviously, Hicks, Starkle, and then uh, John Stephen Jones and, and K.J. Jefferson. I think you see them in some capacity out there on the field. So, yeah, again, let your voices be heard, and that's going to do it for the end of the video can't wait. My my Arkansas 2019 prediction video will be out probably Friday. I'm hoping by Friday, maybe sooner. Just just keep your ears to the ground for that video. I'm excited. That one I've been waiting to do for a while now. I have my I have my list. I have my win loss prediction set up and ready to go. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. That's gonna do it. Remember to like, comment, 
share the content, tap the subscribe button, check out all the links down below in the description box, and tell the next video. Woo pig. All right.